Hello everyone and welcome today to Delaware Auto Sales. My name is Nathan and I am very, very excited to present and show this car to you today. This is the most gorgeous Lexus IS250C convertible I have ever seen and ever worked with. It's the lowest mileage one I've ever seen, ever driven. This car is absolutely phenomenal. Look at the wheels. You see the reflection of the sun right there on that left front chrome wheel? This car has chrome factory, well, they're factory wheels. Arguable whether it's original factory chrome or not. I'm not quite sure. I was gonna talk further about that during the course of this video, but those are chrome wheels. 28,000 miles on this car clean Carfax. I think it might be a one owner. Carfax says two. I think the person may have moved from California to Utah because it's only a short term uh, ownership on what they're calling owner number two. But I can't be certain of that. Uh, but regardless, that's what I think. But this car has spent its entire lifetime in California. It is as remarkably spotless as you see it right here. Outside, inside, underneath these chrome wheels. I'm going to show you up close here in one moment each one it is absolutely gorgeous and look at the paint look at the paint it's beautiful beautiful look at the color right here in the sun look at that gorgeous it's called matador red mica uh, toyota always says mica but it's basically like pearl or metal flake i mean look at all the metal flake in that paint it is remarkable it's interesting because over here in the shade it looks like a dark burgundy, like Merlot cranberry color, but in the sun, it really pops. Look how crystal clear the headlights are. The front bumper is perfect. Absolutely. This car, I'm going to show you every inch of it right here, right now, but this car has absolutely nothing to, we say in this business, to apologize for. There's nothing about this car that's like, oh, well, it's really nice, but oh it's this but it's got high miles or oh it, it, whatever there's there's nothing negative at all i mean it is and, and underneath it's as spotless underneath as you see it to be right here on the paint and what you're going to see of the interior and the trunk i mean unbelievable here's our website with our phone number and uh, website address take a look on there at all of the still photography that i've done of this car I'm also going to have photos in the gallery on the listing on our site underneath the car from our mechanic shop where they took photos underneath it because I want you to see it is absolutely, it looks like brand new underneath as well. It has this original uh, clear plastic bumper applique here that's nice. There was a little, little option on the window sticker we're going to see here momentarily. Uh, but it protects the rear bumper from getting uh, scratched or chipped love these cars love love these cars we actually just sold uh, a very similar one to this not quite as low of mileage but we just sold the same year uh, same wheel but not chrome uh, liquid graphite they call it i believe uh, with 79,000 miles that was starfire pearl with black interior so this is a gorgeous real light colored ivory interior but makes perfect sense perfect for a california climate uh, this this color combo this this car just looks like it belongs in California, Florida, Arizona So maybe that's where you live and maybe you'll find it and maybe you'll take it right back to where it came from So it has both original keys and This car just this is a standout and last I looked on Auto Trader anyway Which is at least what I would consider to be one of the most major players in the automotive advertising industry uh, that when I list this car today, this will be the third lowest mileage in the entire country. So there's one with like 16,000 that quite frankly, I think the dealer's asking a little too much money for even 16,000 miles. And then there's another one with like uh, 22,000 miles, I think it was. And then this car will fall in third position with 28,704 miles right there. So, Let's talk about uh, service briefly. Like I said, clean Carfax report. Uh, take a look at that on our website. Uh, I believe it was a one owner, but I could be wrong. 
uh, all California. There are his Lexus dealer service records on the Carfax. Take a look at it, you'll see it. Uh, when we inspected this car, we didn't find that it needed anything. Uh, our, our technician in our shop that we perform all of our work on, he didn't find anything. He said the oil's brand new. He said the air filter's new. He said the car is absolutely remarkable. Uh, the tires are Michelin. They have eight 30 seconds tread all the way around front and back. And the brakes are 10 millimeters remaining in the front and the rear. Look how clean that rotor is. Uh, so the brakes at 10 millimeters are basically as, as good as brand new. So they don't need any time, any attention right now. So the consumables on this car have a lot of time left to go before they will need anything. There is the tire size, 225, 40, 18. These are Michelin Pilot Sport All Season 3s. Great tire, will definitely hold up and definitely go a whole lot more mileage before they're going to need replaced. Now I'm gonna go very slowly and show you these phenomenal chrome wheels. Now, I believe, I could be wrong, but from everything I looked up, I don't see where this was ever offered as a factory option, okay? This is a genuine Lexus wheel because this is the correct shape and structure of uh, what is the factory wheel that came on this car. And the original window sticker, which I have printed, says 18 inch liquid graphite right there, alloy wheels. So it's that wheel, but liquid graphite is like a smoky, uh, silvery black color, uh, real common on Toyota and Lexus products. So I believe that these wheels have been redone and done in chrome. And I gotta say that it makes sense for coming from California. They do have wheel locks. You can see the wheel lock right there. The key is in the trunk. Uh, makes sense being a California car. And quite frankly, it makes the car just even more dynamite and more rich. So I think it's fantastic. At least in the ones that I looked at pretty quickly, but looked at on Auto Trader just a while ago, I did not see any that had this wheel in chrome. I did see one that had this wheel in the liquid graphite color, but not in chrome. So the chrome is remarkable. I mean, this is this is just little water spots you can see here now that the sun's like blasting on it. But the chrome is beautiful through and through, and oh. Oh, look how sexy that car is. Okay, so that's all of my service notes. Again, I will have photos in the gallery and the ad underneath some few photos from our mechanic shop to show how clean it is underneath. I mean, it literally looks like a brand new car underneath. I mean, especially coming from California. Note the chrome uh, valve stem cap. Look how clean the hat on the rotor is and the brake rotor and all that. It's so perfect. Absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. So I wanted you to just really see how nice those wheels are. Um, let's take a look under the hood right now and then uh, and then we'll go through the interior and the trunk and the um, um, put the top up and down and things. Has the windscreen. Look at the windscreen. That was a standalone little option on this window sticker. Oh, we might as well look at this real quick. So only $48,000 when it was new. This car would certainly cost a lot more today. Uh, luxury package for $3,000, which gets you heated and cooled seats and uh, some other, other memory seats on both sides, some other niceties. Uh, there's the wheels I mentioned previously. Navigation system, those wheel locks for $73. What a bargain. They probably charge $250 for those nowadays. That windscreen right there, $650. There's that rear bumper, a pleat, uh, $76 and then the trunk mat for $73. This stuff, you know, you guys, this stuff would cost three times that today. The, the rear bumper thing would probably be $295. The trunk mat would probably be $395. Cargo net wouldn't be $64. It'd be $264. And the shipping charge certainly would cost more than that. But anyway, this is a reproduction of the original window sticker, but it still, you know, elaborates uh, as far as what it has and the options and what how, how the original one looked. It doesn't have the original one, but it does have um, both original keys with the Lexus 
leather key bags I'm going to show you here in a moment. Um, and it does have all the owner's manuals and books. Look how spotless. I mean, I know there's a lot of plastic, but look. Look at all the fasteners that hold all this down. Perfect. Got a Napa battery from July of 20 in here. Bottom side of the hood is perfect. Absolutely remarkable. Look at the hood pad. Perfect. I mean, you can see if you look at like little things, look at that screw, look at that, look at the line on the whatever that is. Look at look at the clamp, look at the clamp on the hose. Just looks like brand new. Look at look at that hose clamp. Everything's shiny and clean. Like a kid, purring like a kid. Yes, yes, yes. All right, shut the hood now. Not a whole lot to see under there. Um, all right, it does have touch sensor access. That's what the black button is here on the handle. The car's running and the keys in the car, so this won't work right now. But you push to lock it, and then you rest your fingers on the handle to unlock it. The interior is flawless. The interior is absolutely flawless. There is absolutely nothing. The worst thing on this interior, if you ask me to pick out the single worst thing, is a tiny black scuff right here on this plastic that for whatever reason was stubborn. It would not come off and we just didn't want to rub too hard. Memory seats on both sides. Look how nice the window switches are. No wear whatsoever. Beautiful wood trim. Look at the sill plate wonderful tiny little couple little scratches right there but really small um, driver's side seat is remarkable side airbags look how nice this driver's side seat is just like the rest black original mats which is kind of nice because you know this light interior is beautiful but uh, the black carpeting certainly helps to uh, keep the staining down uh, I mentioned this on the last IS convertible that we had um, I don't know, I really don't know the what the why or the how, but the IS250 sedan seemed to have a problem with chipping on the handles right here. The convertibles never seem to have that problem, so I don't know if these door panels were made at different manufacturing plants for these convertibles versus the sedans. Uh, obviously, the sedan doors are shorter, so of course it's not the same panel, but these don't seem to be in all of them that we've had and sold have issues with the chipping. This This is perfect. Same as the dashboard here. Um, look how nice the floor mat is. Um, the dashboard on this car is perfect. Uh, again, the IS uh, 250 sedans have some issues, um, but this is nice, no chips or, or anything out of it. And especially having been in that California heat, uh, and sometimes they'll get real sticky. This is nice and smooth. You can see, listen to my hand here. Uh, it's not sticky or icky. So nice, nice all the way. Um, we saw the window sticker, a uh, little cup holder here. Here's one of the keys. It does have two keys, two of these, just like this. Another master with the leather Lexus bag on the key. So there's another one just like that in the office. Um, inside the uh, console here, another cup holder for your big gulp in there. Uh, power outlet, USB and aux is in there. Love the, look how beautiful the leather is on the shifter handle. Love the heated seat and cold seat on this car. I like the, I like the dials. Uh, I've got the heated seat on right now. You just dial it to whatever, how much cold you want it or how much hot you want it. I think it's really sensible, easy to use. Ashtray is perfect. This car was definitely 100% not smoked in. Ashtray is clean. It was clean when we got it. This car was as clean as you see it when we got it. Push button start, uh, original radio. It does have satellite radio. Let's do all of that up here. 
let me move just slightly here for a moment into the shade so I don't get that sun reflection on my camera lens. There we go. So here's the navigation, put it in reverse, backup camera right there, nice big camera, uh, climate menu right here, audio menu. There's your satellite radio, which I believe it's actually still working. Oh, well, I thought it was. Guess not. Uh, Bluetooth audio right there. Uh, display information, information here, phone, Bluetooth phone right there. Uh, map takes you back to the map. Uh, pretty, that's pretty much it right there. But current technology, you know, current technology, Bluetooth audio, Bluetooth phone, aux, USB inputs, push button start, touch sensor key access. I mean, automatic wipers right here. Uh, automatic headlights and fog lights right there. Um, you know, very current. There's those beautiful miles, 28,704. Outside temperature display up top. That little screen up top does some other stuff you can do with the button here, but it's just like tire pressure information and things like that. Um, over here, traction control. The car does have traction control. This is to turn it off or the snow button will start the transmission in second gear, which gives you ultimate traction if you're driving it in snow, but I don't know why you would, and this car definitely is asking its new owner to please don't drive me in snow because it's never seen snow before. <laughs> um, look at the leather on the steering wheel, absolutely perfect. The stitching is perfect. I mean, it doesn't get better than this, you guys. Beautiful, beautiful, smooth to the touch. No color wear, beautiful. The top is fully automatic with this button here. Uh, I'm gonna move us back a little bit in the sun like we were, and then I'm going to show the top up and down, but let's look at the rest of the car first, okay? Um, so I'm gonna open the trunk because I wanna show you the trunk with the top in it. Um, this button here will make the front seat go forward with one touch, essentially. Backs of the seats are perfect, like you would expect. There's the rear floor mats. Um, I do have the windscreen in here to show it. Uh, there is absolutely nothing negative about the seats. Uh, you know, they're all clean and nice. Uh, I just wanted to be able to show. It's hard for me to take this out, only using one hand during this video. Cup holders back here. This lever, I'm not going to do it at the moment because I'm not sure how it'll affect the windscreen, but that lever folds those rear headrests down so that they're uh, flat, which makes it easier to see out the back for some people. So that's a nice little feature. Um, but yeah, the back seat is absolutely perfect. There's nothing, nothing, uh, nothing dirty or bad going on there. So I'll put that seat back. Uh, the windscreen, you know, you can put the top up and down with the windscreen up, up or down. You can also go like this and fold it if you don't, if you want more wind, I guess, you know, and then you can just raise it back up like so. Uh, the rear deck pieces here are perfect. So in the trunk, the top is in here right now, which is just absolutely amazing how this works. All of the armature and gas charge struts, I mean, all of this stuff is perfect, you know, clean, nice. This car was, even though it's from California, this car had to have been kept in a garage. It undoubtedly had to be because, again, we detailed it, but not anything aggressive. Super clean under here. The top is beautiful. Um, so I like to show this when I talk about these cars. Here's the, here's the cargo net for the $64 that you wouldn't get today for $64. Uh, first aid kit over there, it's never been used. Uh, this bag is for the storage of the windscreen when you fold it and collapse it, it will fit in that bag. Uh, this, I wanted to show, this belongs down below. This is the tool kit with the tow hook and the uh, breaker bar and some other little tools and screwdrivers and pliers. Definitely appears as if it's never been used and hard for me to do kind of with one hand, but I, underneath here, the spare tires down there, the jack, there's a photo of that in the photo gallery for the car. Clean, 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 definitely never been used. There's the trunk mat with the Lexus emblem. You can see how clean that is. I'm gonna put the top up <clears throat> and I'm gonna show you the trunk again so you can see how much room is in the trunk with the top up, but the trunk is as spotless as the rest of the car, okay? So let's drop this for now. Look at the rest of the interior. I love the little 
stubby antenna on these cars, very sensible, nothing to break. <clears throat> Like I said, I told you I was gonna show every inch of this car because that's how I generally do things, but this car is certainly worth seeing every inch because it's so perfect. <clears throat> this seat is just as nice as the driver, maybe even a little bit nicer. I mean, there's a couple little wrinkles on the bolster on the driver's side, kind of like what's happening right there, but so minor for the age and <clears throat> the low miles. Even if the seat goes back, you can still use this to slide the seat forward and back. If you would rather it be back further, you can use that without having to reach down there. Uh, the owner's manuals are here in the glove box, <clears throat> right here. Uh, the second key is not in the car at the moment, but it has it. Floor mats, beautiful. This, uh, this scuff plate has a tiny little uh, that's actually like a scratch in the plastic right there, but super minor. And then again, memory seat on the passenger side. I think that was part of the luxury package, but very cool, you know, very European. A lot of European cars do the, the memory on both sides deal, depending on what package you get. Look at that paint in the sun. Uh, the header panel is clean. Clean, clean, clean. Uh, I'll show you the inside of the roof lining when we put the top up. So let's go ahead and do that now. Let's put the top up so you can see the car with the top up, but also to see and operate. So I'm gonna stand here and operate the top. It's the most magical operation. I'm gonna stop for one second right there. I want you to see how clean the underside of the basically the roof lighting of the car is you can see it for all its glory right here in the sun to see how clean it is okay now you do have to hold the button which is what i'm doing right now it's amazing how fast this top operates look how the rear window comes up look at that so neat i paused the button by the way right there just so you can see it and then once it's done, you hear a chime inside the car. And then if you keep holding, all of the windows will go up. So there's the windscreen in the car. Still, it accommodates, of course, for the top to go up with the windscreen still in position. There's the roof lighting, which is perfect. And then let's look around a little bit more in the trunk and see the car with the top up. It's a sexy car with the top up or down. I mean, really, 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 I, I, think, I don't think it's any less attractive with the top up or down. So now that the top's gone, there's a lot of room here. Uh, this piece must remain in this position in order to tell the car that yes, there is a clearing enough space for the top to enter this, this compartment. Um, if you remove this like so, which is legal, you can do that but the top will not go down because the car doesn't know that you don't have 16 suitcases back here. So you can do that when you're gonna travel with your top up and you need the room for suitcases and luggage or lots of groceries or whatever the case. Um, so yeah, but look how clean, remarkable this is. Um, so nice. Um, let me see, I might be able to one-handedly see. Oh, okay. um, so here's, look how clean down in here. Here's the jack, spare tire, tools. I mean, so nice, so clean. Absolutely perfect, perfect. Like I said in the beginning, it doesn't get much better. I don't think. All right, let's put this down. So here's how it looks with the top up. Still a remarkable car. It's like candy, I don't care what that color name is, Matador Red, sounds beautiful, but it's like candy, I don't even know, candy, apple, candy, I don't, I, don't, I don't know what I would call it if I had to name it, but it's different than candy apple red, I guess. But see here in the shade, now that we're on this side where the, the sun's up over there, in the shade, 
it appears darker. Um, it's, it's still just as pretty, it's just different. So, these cars, in my opinion, were definitely far ahead of their time. Definitely, definitely far ahead of their time. Um, yeah, so take a look at the roof panels. There is nothing, nothing negative, of course, on them, but just so you can see. Uh, I think the car was very ahead of its time. I think it's one of the greatest uh, retractable hardtop convertibles. Second to, or in, close to, in line with, I'd rather own this than, than a EOS, but I do think that Volkswagen EOSs are pretty cool uh, because it's a retractable hardtop. Uh, but on the EOS, you have this panel being a sunroof, which is interesting, but the cars definitely aren't uh, quite as quality built or long lasting as their Japanese friend here, the Lexus. So, mm, 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 mm. I appreciate you uh, taking the time to listen to me talk for 25 minutes and 49 seconds. Uh, <laughs> I hope you found it informative. I hope uh, it's what you might be looking for definitely a really cool present for your wife or girlfriend or husband or boyfriend or partner for the holidays uh, since we've still got some time before Christmas and this color would certainly make an awesome Xmas gift or Hanukkah or whatever your religion might be. Um, wonderful car, wonderful car and uh, send us an email or give us a phone call if you'd like to know more about it or anything else you'd like to see or know about that I haven't covered on this video. So. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.